Hello and thank you for watching this video. This is a very quick video to show you how you can stop Joomla stripping out code that you put into your articles. Um, by this I mean when you uh, want to say embed a video from YouTube, you open and put a new article, I've just called this one test, and then you need to go into your HTML editor, which is usually something like Tiny MCE, uh, which comes as standard with Joomla. Then you get your update, your HTML source editor box here. What you do then is you paste in some code. So I've just picked a YouTube video, one of mine, and um, tried to embed it here. Then you click updates, and then you want to save. So click on save. And just wait for the results to come back. And it says save failed with the following error. Article must have some text. Okay, so what's happened there is basically it stripped the code out. Let's have another look at the code box. Okay, it's been a bit slow. Okay, as you can see, there's no code left in there anymore. Okay, so I figured out the way you can do this, so it doesn't do that anymore. So what you're gonna do is you can close that down. So I think we're going quite slow at the moment. There we go. And then the first thing you want to do is you want to go into Article Manager, which we're in now, and then click on Options. I'm using Joomla 1.7 at the moment, but this should work in most versions of Joomla. Okay, you'll see the blacklist for all the different types of um, people that have logged into your website. At the end here is your UR is the super user. What you need to do is change this from blacklist to no filtering. Okay, so once that's changed to no filtering, that's in the text filters section. Save and close. And there's one last job to do. What you need to do then is you need to go into your plugin manager. So extensions, plugin manager. And scroll down until you find the editor that you're actually using. So I'll be using Tiny MC MCE. So click on that one. I'm going to open that one up. Okay, and in this section here, look to the right hand side where the basic options are. And in prohibited elements, you'll see a list here applet, iframe, script. This is basically this is the reason why it's stripping out the code. Because it sees these, um, it sees, say, an iframe for an, em an embed code and it wipes it completely out. So what you need to do is, obviously, if you've got a lot of people submitting um, work to your website, then you might want to restrict certain things, but like me, if you're the only person who does actually add things to your website, then you don't want to restrict anything. So what you do is you get rid of all that, but you can't leave this box empty, so you can just put some rubbish in, so just type in whatever you want. If you, if you, don't, put the, if you don't put some text in there, basically what it'll do is it'll re-add all the um, the prohibited elements that were there before. Okay, so once you've done that, click on save and close. What we'll do is go back to that article that we had before. So, article manager. Okay, and I've got this task one here. Apologise about the speed. Okay, wait for it to come up. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I've still got um, so I have this code in, the iframe code, so just click on HTML again, open the box, turn that out, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in the iframe code again, update it, This time you'll see it's actually added the code in and it's actually showing now what obviously the video was. And the code hasn't been removed. So it's really taking a slow Camtasia is slowing down the computer a bit. Okay, so as you can see, the video is now in there. And you can save and close. And just to prove it does work, once you've saved and closed says it's successfully saved. Go back in again. And the code is still there. Okay, so that's it really. It's, it took me quite a long time to actually get that to work properly. Um, a lot of research went into... I mean, a lot of people have been having this issue and there never seems to be a definitive answer to actually how you solve it. Um, well, I hope that helps. Um, well, thanks for watching. Um, please do comment, uh, rate, or subscribe. And thank you.